Well, let's give it up for Rabbi Silber. Thank you. And welcome to the world's borough. I, of course, want to extend uh, a happy, happy, happy new year to everyone. And of course, want to thank my colleagues who make this borough what it is. Uh, all of our state legislators, all of our elected officials who are here today. Thank you so more, much for joining us at the, as the host, and I'm happy to be the host of the Yeshiva Summit this year in Queens County. And one of the things I often say is here in Queens County, we are not fair weather friends to Israel, nor to our yeshivas. We stand with Israel, and we stand with our yeshivas. And 2.4 million people reside in Queens, and we would not be who we are without our Jewish community as well. You know, I often talk about the diversity of our borough, 190 countries represented here, 360 languages and dialects spoken here. It's a really special place. So we welcome all of you from that other borough called Brooklyn. But truly, we are all family on a day like this. And as we know, we're here because education has to be a priority for us. We often speak of education being the great equalizer. And as the parent of a seven-year-old, I know how important it is and how vital education is to each and every one of you. So children's learning environments shapes their entire lives. Education provides them with the tools capable to be adults, to raise families of their own, and to be responsible citizens. And as the most diverse county in America, we are proud to have yeshivas throughout our borough who do great work. So there's no New York Times article that can tell me about the yeshivas of this borough because I know each and every one of them. From Yeshiva Gadola, the Satmars, thank you, in Glendale to the Torah Academy for Girls in Far Rockaway. Thank you. Come on, I'm from Far Rockaway. To Yeshiva of Central Queens and Kew Gardens Hills, these are institutions who do a phenomenal job at educating our communities. So Yeshivas and other non-public parochial faith-based schools play a vital role in the intellectual and moral education of children across the city and throughout the state. And please know that here in Queens, that our doors are always open for you. I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we were plowed, proud to hold our annual tradition at Queensborough Hall, which was my first event as borough president. I'm now in my second year in lighting the Hanukkah menorah out in front of our lawn in December. And one of the things I did at that event was reaffirm our commitment to fighting hate across the city and, of course, across the borough. Goes back to my time as the chairman of the Public Safety Committee when we fought to ensure that we created the office to prevent hate crimes, specifically because our Jewish neighbors were being targeted horrendously at that time. Uh, and this goes back before all of the headlines. And, of course, now you'll see in Comstat, which the NYPD reports uh, working with council members Chaim Deutsch and now uh, Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine, uh, we created a hate crimes index um, uh, category on uh, the NYPD's website to make sure that we track hate crimes. So I, as I did on that day, just want to reaffirm our commitment in this borough. No matter who you are, if you stand against the Jewish community, if you promote hate, promote violence, we will stand against you. Doesn't matter whether your name is Kanye West, whether your name is Kyrie, whether you're a white supremacist or the Proud Boys, we will stand against you if you stand against the Jewish community. So today's a great day to be here, especially as we enter in in a few days, as we celebrate Martin Luther King Day. I'm reminded of that special bond in the civil rights movement between the black community and the Jewish community. And where we, may we never ever be divided. May we continue to stand together. We will not let anyone, no matter what they look like, break our bond. 
So today is a great day to be here. I also just want to say that we work very closely with the Queens Jewish Community Council. Uh, we are working collectively together to create a Holocaust memorial uh, at Queensborough Hall. We want to make sure that we never forget those whose lives were sacrificed, who died unjustly. We want to make sure that we remember them. I look forward to continue to work with each and every one of you. And of course, I look forward to my trip to Israel this year uh, once again. So thank you all for having me. Welcome to Queens. May God bless each and every one of you. Please count on us to continue to be allies to the Jewish community at Queensborough Hall and in Queens. God bless you all.